Hi, welcome to Jackie Burns Creations. Today is Thrift Your Decor. It's an open challenge that is hosted by Nicole North Garden of Nicole North Garden All Things Thrift, and she also does have a crafting channel. I just love watching her go to Goodwill and the different thrift stores. I have to click on it right away when I see that she's put up a video. And she is hosting with her good friend, Robin Johnson. And it's Robin Johnson Decor. And I love when the two of them, they both live in Minnesota, and I love when the two of them go thrifting together. So here is project number one. I found this at uh, my favorite thrift store. This mirror, it's a tin mirror, and it is, was $3. And you can see I was taking the glass out and hitting it with my Waverly, white Waverly chalk paint. Then I took my finger sander and started hitting the high spots to make it show up a little better. And then he put just a teeny dab of black paint on a wet wipe. And uh, this kind of helped soften, instead of using a brush, it helped soften the look of it so it wasn't on so hard and then trying to take it off. So you can see how, how nicely it goes on. Whoa. I must have hit slow motion there. Cal, sometimes that happens. The slow motion's right next to the video, and sometimes you hit that slow motion instead of video, and it's like, no! Okay, so now onto the mirror. I'm cleaning it off so we get a nice adherence with the transfer. These transfers I got from Jamie Ray Vintage. They are Iron Orchid Designs. And this is one of their new designs for this year. And I just thought it was so pretty in the black. And it says on there that you can color it. So I don't know, color it with marker or, or paint or whatever. I'll have to investigate a little further. Get onto their site and see what they do with it. But I just thought this was pretty with just the black and you could see through it. So what I learned on Jamie Ray's YouTube channel is if you start at one end and you lift it up, it seems to go down better. Uh, before I took and just rubbed it all over and it seemed to take me a long time to do it. And I noticed on wood, if I seal it with Mod Podge first, it goes on better. But the mirror's pretty slick, so it's going on just fine. And if, if you see a spot that's still on your transfer tape, you just lay it down and rub over it again. So here I'm putting it back in the tin frame. And there it is all done. Isn't that pretty? And here it is hanging up. Okay, project number two. I also found this hanger at my favorite thrift store and it was three dollars and i just love the hangers i think they're so pretty with the crystal knobs and it had this flower on it which i didn't really care for so i bent it up and started rocking it back and forth and it came off i'll save it 
probably use it for something else. And I get my little finger sander and just smoothing it out. Better clean up that dust. I'm wiping it all down. trying to go carefully around the brackets because they're welded on there's no way to take them off so the hangers are just permanently in place so I'm just trying to carefully go around there and not get paint on them and do you think I succeeded no I got paint on all of them so what I did was I went back and uh wiped it off or touched up what I could used a little black paint to touch it up I even got it up on the crystal knobs only one and I just scraped that off Did you enjoy watching me paint? At least I didn't make you watch the paint dry. Okay, I'm using that little wipe again and uh, just going around the edges and touching just a little bit of dark on there and making it look a little distressed. And here I've got the black flowers again. I'm trying to decide which one I want to put on. There's like four or five pages. And if you take and use the whole thing on a big project, you can make a wreath. And it has flowers on the outside. But me, I just want to cut out here and there. So I'm going to cut this one out on the edge. And there is a big plastic scraper with these, and I like it much better than the ones that came with wood scrapers. This is a really heavy duty one. Now don't take the backing paper off until you know exactly where you want it because of course then it would get be stuck and you wouldn't want to come off for you. You can adjust it a little bit. But do never get it near paper. One of them I got near some paper and it stuck right away. You can see I took those top crystal knobs off so they weren't in my way when I was scraping. See how that's coming up? I think I'm just loving it, all the transfers lately. I got these from IOD and uh, I got some from different places. And of course the ones from Dollar Tree. 
And I'm just trying to fit this one in there and decide where I want it to be. So it will kind of match the other side. Match, but different. There I go. It looks pretty, doesn't it? I'll put the knobs back on. And I am sealing this with some Mod Podge. Just some matte Mod Podge. Of course, I didn't seal the one on the mirror with Mod Podge. You see that bottle, how empty it was? I just got that brand new recently. Okay, here's the hat hanger all done. And here are they both together. I hung them in my hallway that comes in from the garage because the husband always has hats he needs to hang up. And I thought, oh, that's a good place. And the mirror's not really tall enough for me to look into, but it is tall enough for him. but I think they look really pretty. And I really appreciate you coming to watch and watch the rest of the playlist. I'm sure we'll have some interesting people on there with doing some great thrift flips. And thank you for coming. Subscribe, like, and I am a plaid ambassador. Try some plaid products today. Go out and spread some kindness. Bye.